Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Blazer Victory Podcast. John Duncan here, and I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Darian Smith. And Darian, hey, it's not Monday morning. Why, why are we no. popping on their uh, podcast feed? <laughs> hey, man, we got to be a little, we got to be flexible at times. Um, when it's time <laughs> to drop some stuff, we got to do it because that's just what the job demands. You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Exactly. Well, hey, guys, hopefully... You were listening to this Friday morning, or if not Friday morning, hopefully Saturday morning. But guys, we are less than one week away from kicking off the 2022 UAB football season. And just real quick, though, if you haven't already got your tickets, go ahead and call the UAB ticket office or go to UABsports.com. Go to the website and go ahead and get tickets for you and the family. And, you know, I can't wait to see what the atmosphere is going to be like uh, come Thursday night in Protective Stadium uh, as UAB plays Alabama A&M. But, guys, I was fortunate enough to be able to sit down with uh, head coach Bront Vincent Thursday evening after practice. And I just want to go ahead and roll. You know, we want to go ahead and share this interview with you guys. Um, Coach Vincent, just thank you again so much for just taking a few minutes out of your busy schedule, you know, because, hey, He's game prep. They're game prepping right now. But he decided, you know, hey, I'll take a few minutes to, you know, come on with with me. And I just appreciate that so much. You know, Darian, that just means a lot to have, you know, a coach that's, you know, just willing to, you know, spend some time with, you know, with the media and fans. Right. I I think that's big time. But you know what? I got a theory. What's that? I think he said, oh, man, this is John Duncan from (laughs) the Laser Victory Pod. You know, I've heard. I've heard this guy. I've heard some of some of his work. That's why I think we need to spread the word for the podcast, right? Because if my Vincent, the head coach, is uh sitting down with with the great John Duncan, he's uh John Duncan is getting exclusive uh interviews now, you know. Um, I think that speaks to the legitimacy of something that you've been able to build, and I'm glad that I've been able to be a part of now. Um so Hey, man, I think this is props to you also. And I think, you know, the listeners, we got some loyal listeners. Hey, try to – I know it's more Blazer fans that can be tuned in to the show. Um, tune them in. <laughs> tell them about it, man. Tell them to give us a shot. And then maybe, you know, we can get some more su- subscribers and we can get the real news of the, uh, the Blazer football team and basketball team out there. I love it. And, hey, yeah, definitely, before we roll this interview that I had with Coach, if you are not subscribed to the Blazer Victory podcast on a podcast platform, whether that's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, wherever, YouTube, wherever you are listening to us right now, go ahead and hit that follow or subscribe button so you do not miss any future episodes. And, guys, Darian and I will be back on Monday morning to get you ready for kickoff for the Alabama A&M game. Um, so, you know, we're pumped about it. Uh, but without further ado, I will go ahead and roll the interview that I had with Coach Vincent. Go Blazers. Go Blazers. All right. Well, Coach, uh, thank you so much for just taking a few minutes to uh, be on the podcast, the Blazer Victory Podcast. We all appreciate you being on. And just got a few questions for you. Um, so first, you know, I love that the team is honoring Coach Jim Hillier with the uh, helmet decal and the moment of silence before the A&M game. Um, do you have any like fond memories of Coach Hillier? Or? I sure do. You know, I worked with, I was able to work with Coach Hillier for two years. Um, you know, I got here and, and you hear all the stories about Coach Hillier and, and he comes in and he works. He was here early, he was here late. And, and the thing that Coach Hillier did for me is he came in and he said, Coach, I want to help you. And I said, This is what I need. And so he would break down the opposing defense that we were seeing always a week ahead. So he would come in and he had all these manila folders and I never forget the first time I said, Go ahead and break down whoever opponent was at first I think it was Coastal Carolina. And he came in and he had every single play wow. charted. Every single play charted and it was to the T and it was organized. And he was telling me he would always say, you know, hey, this D lineman right here, he's trouble. Or this this DB right here, he, he he arrives at the ball mean. You know, he would always have certain sayings about guys that he really respected on defense. But, um, you know, he, he just loved UAB. He loved the program. He, he loved the kids. The kids loved him. They respected him. Um, you know, I felt like 
A.J. Erdley, you know, who was our quarterback in 18, him and Tyler, you know, they had a great relationship with him. And there was just a lot of respect. And any time you had former players come around the program and you would talk about Coach Hillier, you know, they would just light up. And you could tell he meant a lot to his players and to this program. Yeah. Well, obviously we're a week away. Um, this is going to be your first game as a college football head coach. And I know you've been, you know, coach for a long time, but – I mean, how are you feeling heading into your first game? You know, I'm excited. Uh, I'm a little anxious, to be honest with you, to get to this game. Um, I think, you know, again, we had a great July. We had a great last week of June. Uh, we've had a great fall camp. I think this team has grown together. We've taken steps daily. Um, you know, they've done really everything we've asked them to do up to this point, and we're just ready to, to play somebody else besides ourselves. But I'm just – I'm excited and I'm anxious, and I just want to go out there and, and play up to the UAB standard. And, you know, just walking around practice, I mean, you could tell that the guys are dialed in and they're ready. And like you just said, they're ready to start hitting somebody else instead of their own no teammates. Doubt. No doubt. So I guess what what's going to be your pregame – kind of walk, walk – what are your plans going to be leading up to Thursday night before the game? Obviously, you're going to have the walkthrough with the team, but what are you going to do that morning? Or are you all still staying the night before? We or? Are. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a walkthrough. We'll have meetings um, Wednesday morning. We'll walk through that afternoon, and we'll head to the uh, to the hotel that afternoon. I do my, my normal ritual the night before the game. You know, we'll have our, our team dinner. Then I'll go up to the room, and it's just something I've done for years, and it's something that's not going to change. Is we'll sit there, and I'll get the offensive staff in there, and we'll play the game, you know, that night. We'll, we'll talk about the, you know, the game plan, the first drive, the second drive, the things that we want to set up, our plan coming into halftime, out of halftime, with the first drive of the second half. We'll make sure that our third downs are in order, our fourth downs are in order, on the different segments of the third down game plan and just really how we want to start this game based off how we've looked all week. Um, it's just something that, that I do, and then I just kind of play the game before it's played Wednesday night, and then I'll get up that next morning, um, listen to some Hillsong worship music every morning like I usually do, and, and just get in the right frame of mind. Um, we'll have an optional breakfast. We'll have a devotion at 945, you know, um, We'll have a pregame meal, and, and then we'll get these guys ready to load up and go. There you go. Um, well, what are your thoughts in general on just playing on a Thursday night? You know, you being one of the first football teams. I mean, I know we've got week zero this weekend, but the real season starts, you know, next week with week one. Like, how do you feel being on national television, being one of the first teams to kick it off? Like, do you like it, or would you rather play on Saturday? Or, like, what, what are your I thoughts? Absolutely, I absolutely love playing on Thursday night to open the season. Because fall camp, you know – Anytime fall camp's long, and you can go against each other day in day out for only so long. Um, I don't care if you've got a veteran team or if you've got an inexperienced team. By this point in time, you're ready to play, and being able to play on Thursday night, get those extra two days to get our kids rested and get in the training room and get in the weight room and be able to watch our opponent, you know, in Liberty Saturday night and be able to get up there Sunday and ready to rock and roll. I'm excited about it, and I really enjoy playing on Thursdays. And that was going to be my next question. You know, Liberty's got a really important game against Southern Miss. Are you going to be able to catch any of that Saturday night? Absolutely. I plan on watching the entire game. Um, we know, you know, what happened last year. You know, they came to Birmingham and beat us last year in our home opener in our new stadium. And, and you know, that's something that, that we're looking forward to going back up there and see how we play against those guys at their home opener. Got you. Well, Coach, I just want to thank you so much for just taking these few minutes with me, and uh, good luck Thursday in the season, and go Blazers. I appreciate everything you do for UAB football, and happy to be on here. Thank you for having me, and go Blazers.